Hello and welcome back to my channel, Fem Tarot. I'm Natalie. Today I'll be doing a reading for all of the zodiac signs and how they're going to be affected by this upcoming full moon on the 20th of April in Scorpio. And this is going to be quite an intense one because we already have Uranus directly opposed to the full moon in Scorpio. But at the same time, um, Uranus is moving and becoming conjunct with the sun, which means that a lot of things are going to be exposed. Also, let me remind everyone that full moons are known as the great revealers. They reveal emotions, they reveal experiences, trauma, wounds, truths, everything comes out with a full moon, and especially with this one, which is why I want to do this reading, just so we can see what's to be expected, what should you expect, and how you can deal with it. Right, without further ado, let's get right into it. Right, Aries, we start with you, of course, and I've already shuffled the, the deck, and I've already laid out the spread, and I'm having a look now at the energies around what is happening and this is very interesting so let's see here let's see what's hidden and what's going to come out i have the nine of swords so obviously there's a lot of things going on in your head there is also a lot of things going on in your life right now and you're trying to figure things out it seems to me and what i'm picking up is that there's just too much you're multitasking you're trying to organize your life. You're trying to organize um, everything that's going on, even, even helping out family members. I just feel that the stress levels are heightened right now, and they're going to get even worse as we come closer to the full moon. Let me just remind you that the full moon energy builds up, for, starts building up four days before the actual full moon, before um, we actually see the full moon on the 28th of April, and it slows down four days after. So it's basically a whole week that we are getting that full moon influence and energy. Right. So back to what's hidden. So I do feel that there are lots of things there that maybe you haven't really communicated or reached out to people. And I just feel that you're taking on just way too much right now. And it's okay for you to just say, I'm going to leave this and do this some other time. That's not top priority. If it's not top priority, I would say just let it go for now and deal with it maybe in May, halfway through May, like in the middle of May onwards. Just allow for things to happen. You're, there is a lot of ang angst, I feel. There's stress. There's tension there. But that tension is, is building up inside you. So... Be careful because this full moon means that that tension might come out and you being an Aries and you being a fire sign, that might not come across well from other people in the way that you communicate, whatever it may be that you're communicating. And um, people are not going to see it from your side. They're not going to be able to see it from your point of view. Right. How to deal with the hidden is, and I get the six of wands. Now, how do you deal with this? You just have to come out and be open. And you better start doing this now before you start being affected by the full moon energy, because that's going to confuse you even more, right? Well, the six of wands is just, you need to recognize what you need to work on. Where do you need help with? It's fine for you to reach out, as I said, and ask for help. Some things we can't deal on our own. And this is what I feel. But you, I feel that there is some kind of uh, sense of shame there. I don't know why. That's what I just picked up. So for what, some of you, this might resonate. For some others, it might not. But if it resonates with you, don't feel shameful. It's, it's your pride. It's your just your pride talking. And now and during this period, it's not time for us to listen to our pride or our ego. We have to do what we have to do, what's best for us to release, release tension, release wounds, release anything that is not working for you. And it's actually working against you. 
And then we have the, um, I get the sun when it comes to what it is you have to release. I do feel it, okay, it could be um, maybe you have tension if you have um, older children and you might have some kind of tension with them or you worry about them or they are um, in some kind of pickle, shall I say, in their lives and you don't know how or to help them or what you can do. And it also indicates to me that it could also be that there's some kind of, I'm going to use the word secret because this full moon is all about revealing secrets. So do you feel there is a long-standing secret that you've kept from someone or from your loved ones that you must let go? Now is the time. If you don't do it in your own terms, the full moon will do it for you. And it's going to be under the full moon's term terms and it's not going to be smooth sailing. So just a piece of warning here. So consider what it is that's eating you up inside that you need to let go. As painful as that might seem, as painful as it may be, it's only pain that's going to last. It's a temporary pain. But once you release that pain and you release that secret, then you'll be able to start healing and actually building, uh, rebuilding your relationship with yourself and with your loved ones too. Right. And then I have the new opportunities. So this full moon, if you play your cards right, and as I said, it has to do with being more honest with yourself and releasing wounds and um, secrets and things that ha have been kept inside for far too long, things will change for you. I feel that this full moon is just going to shuffle things around for you in order for you to release and be able to go on and move on to the next chapter in your life. So that's quite important for you to pay attention to, to especially now as we come into the full moon. Eight of Wands as in opportunities. So I do see that you're going to have a lot of offers, job offers, opportunities, opportunities to do something creative as well, a creative outlet, um, even sort of opportunities to push you outside your comfort zone. And this is great. I absolutely love the eight of wands in this position, in this spread, and especially when it's connected to the full moon and Scorpio. So it just, it just proves to me, it just shows to me that once this is over, so after the full moon, again, four days after, you will be able to grab the bull by its horn and actually navigate the situation around your life with a much more, in a much more controlled man manner and feeling a lot more confident in yourself. And if you feel a lot more confident in yourself, you'll be able to get better results because you'll be able to be more focused, more confident. And honestly, when you're confident, you really don't care what other people think. And usually you don't care what other people think, dear Aries. But this, as I said, this full moon in Scorpio is going to rattle everything. It's going to shake things up, mix things up. It might feel confusing to you. It might You might feel fuzzy in the head as well. Listen, don't worry. If you follow this advice, the advice that come through these cards from my guides, then I'm sure it's going to make a lot more sense when the time comes and you start feeling that energy building up and on how to handle the situation and improve your life vastly. If you, as I said before, if you play your cards right, you can really come out of this full moon phase more unscathed than others and definitely far more creative and um, motivated. So sounds super exciting, Aries. Let me know down below if this resonates with you. Right, Taurus, it's your turn now. We're going to be looking at your star sign and what the energies around the full moon in Scorpio are bringing for you. Right, I've already shuffled the deck, I've already cut the deck, and I've laid out the spread and I'm ready to go.
Right, let's have a look. Here's what is hidden, which the full moon will basically um, influence and affect. And I get the Ten of Cups. For me, there is something um, relating a family member or your family that is coming to a close. It could be that you are moving home or you're moving state maybe even country. It could be that um, Mary, maybe Mary, see for Freudian slip, maybe it's a marriage um, that for a while now you've been sort of going back and forth whether this marriage is at its last leg or whether there is potential for it to improve if you put more work in it and more effort, despite how tired you may feel or disheartened. And I do feel it's going to be around the family and that's what's hidden. Maybe you haven't even communicating, communicated certain things with your partner or your children or even your parents. Okay. So I just feel that the energy is really going to hit you in the family aspect of things. Also, how to deal with um, what's hidden and what this full moon is about to reveal. To me, you have to be the queen of pentacles. You have to be firm, solid regarding, and you're a Taurus, so you're very grounded. You're an earth sign. You have to remain grounded. That's the uh, queen of pentacles. Try not to spend too much money around this time, around this week, which is the four days before the full moon and the four days after. Um, as I said, stay grounded. Do more exercise. Exercising is good for you. And um, just honestly, just don't allow for the outside noise to affect you. It's, you have to let go. It's almost like you have to put yourself in a bubble during that period and deal with everything that comes your way, but not straight away. So try to be in a bubble to protect yourself, stay grounded, and you will be able in time. And anyways, you need your time, Taurus, as we know that, that you generally love to take your time and you need time when it comes to decision making. You need time to figure things out. So the best way of doing that is by protecting you during this time. You have to let go of conflict. It seems to me that I have a lot of this fire energy around you. So it seems to me that you've been quite tense lately and you've been taking it out on people. It's like you feel just, I feel that you are disappointed you are at a point right now where um, it's just basically it's like I what I'm feeling is that you're a bull in a in a in a glass shop. Is it a glass shop? You know I'm terrible with things and I make my own, but you know what I mean. So that's how that's how I feel that any little thing is triggering you and it's causing you to react to it. And then you regret it. So you have to let go of conflict, whether it's inner conflict or conflict with other people. You need to let go of that sentiment. You need to let go of that energy right now. And it, especially as we come into the full moon, because otherwise this full moon is going to completely amplify those feelings and emotions. And the consequences may be really bad. So take it easy breathe, meditate, ground yourself, protect yourself and allow for this time to pass. And then you can start making more solid decisions about how you want to handle certain things. Right. So new opportunities are coming for you, dear Taurus. It has to do, it's the justice card, new opportunities for you to be fair, for you to, um, be more, I'm going to say, practical as well. You are a practical star sign, but I feel that the last few months from the beginning of the year, you've been up in the uh, in the clouds somehow and you have a hard time grounding yourself. So 
new opportunities are coming your way. Is it justice card? They could also be some if you're in a, a in a legal um, battle right now or in some kind of legal complication. It will go your way. So that's that's really good news. But again, you need to stay calm and you need to allow for things to happen in time. But luckily, the energy of this full moon is going to help you out with with this justice card in this position. Um, also, a new opportunity to almost restructure your your personal life, your life, create something new for you when it comes to your space, when it comes to your people, when it comes to your job as well. So in, in those important aspects of your life, there needs to be, a, let's say, work towards finding a balance and being fair. You have to be fair with yourself and with others. Don't be too hard on people and yourself included. And then magician. So how can you make the most of this full moon? Magician manifest. Honestly, take your spiritual journal and start writing down what do you want to manifest? Start meditating. Create a vision board. With this magician, anything you put your mind to it, and if you believe it, if you see it as real in your mind, it's going to come true. It's going to manifest itself physically. So I love this card for you. Go for it. I have lots of videos in my channel explaining how you can do, how to write down a, um, how to keep actually a spiritual journal, how to manifest. I will link everything on this video as well. Gonna, probably going to be up there and down in the description box. But I just absolutely love this card in this position because that means that this full moon, if you if you really, as I said, are careful, you're not too impulsive, and you start manifesting, it's going to work out for you. Well, Gemini, it's your turn right now. I've already shuffled. I've cut the deck, and I've laid out the spread for you, and I'm looking at the cards. And let me just start with what's hidden for this full moon, and I have the Eight of Swords. It seems to me that you're in some kind of position where you are unable or at least I feel mentally you feel you can't get out of that position. It is oppressive. It's making you unhappy. It's stressing you out basically. But I feel that for, for whatever reason you feel that you can't get out, you can't get out of the situation and that you're trapped but it's actually in your mind. You can get out of the situation. And this full moon will push you to do it because you'll be able to, you will be actually asked to deal with it, to face it. You'll have to face the music. And it will push you to that point where you will just snap in, in, in a sense and you will do something about it. Um, also, but the thing is, um, I feel that you might be in a situation of manipulation. It could be you kind of manipulating someone or a situation or someone manipulate, manipulating you. And I'm going to say that if you're sensing that someone is not being forthright, truthful, they are de deceitful towards you, then I would suggest that you keep that hidden. Don't let them know you know or you suspect, especially not around this full moon, because I don't see the consequences of that being too overly positive, especially for you. So I'm going to say that deal with this situation, this entrapment situation in quotation marks that you're dealing with very strategically and don't reveal your cards. And then you need to let go of, I have the six of wands here. You need to let go during this full moon. I feel some kind of um, false expectations that you have 
regarding to you and the your future path or your your future plans. I feel that um, you'll realize that this is not really working out for you. This might not be the best idea. It yeah, it sounds like a great idea inside your head, but practically and and the timing as well is not going to be right for you. So this 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 whatever it's, it has been that you've been working on and expecting for it to happen and you've been feeling that it's being delayed, you need to let go of that idea. Okay? Especially now, nothing is going to happen around that now and if you push for it to happen, it's going to backfire. So just be cautious. And then well, 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 well. So Gemini's, I have two things to say about this lover's card when it comes to this position. Some of you are going to meet someone or they've just started. I feel some of you have just started something new with someone. You're starting to see, see someone or there might be some kind of text exchange or phone numbers. And this is going to be heightened around that time. And for other, others, this card indicates that this full moon might reveal foul play in a relationship or in a marriage. So dishonesty, that there might be a third person involved. It might reveal maybe messages that you've been exchanging with someone. And even though they're just innocent messages, your partner might react really badly to that because they might see it very differently as to what it really is. So I, I would be a little bit careful around this time. And if you are the, the second group of Geminis, if you're the first group of Geminis, and you have just met someone or you're about to meet someone, again, tread lightly. Don't pull all your fo uh, your hopes up, okay? We because the love is caught to me, and as I keep saying, I don't always read the cards in the traditional way with the traditional meanings because I am a psychic and I'm, I am clair clairvoyant. So I do pick up a lot of messages from my guides too. So that's what they're saying, that this, even though this seems this new affair, this new relationship, this new potential relationship seems exciting and, and fun and it makes you happy, there is a potential that it's not, especially because of the full moon hmm, in Scorpio, there is a potential that it's not as, things are not as they may seem. So I would be cautious with that. And you also get the world card when it comes to making the most of opportunities. So any opportunities that are coming your way now, don't ignore them. Don't, don't really um, jump in with those opportunities just yet. Wait until after the full moon. But at the same time, there are good opportunities if you make the most of them. And you need to think strategic. You're a Gemini. You are impulsive. We know that. But now is the time not to be impulsive. Now you have to be more a strategist when it comes to you, yourself and your life and your wants and what you want. And there is a huge potential there to just turn things around, especially if in, in the last six months, I feel you've been working on improving things in your life or in your job and you just feel that it's not going anywhere. Hang in there, okay? Don't do any, don't make any hasty moves and don't take any decisions right now. Just allow for things to happen with that world card. Right, Cancer, let's look at you and what are the energies around this full moon and what should you be aware of? Right. So I've already shuffled, I've already cut the deck, and I have the Four of Cups, as in what's hidden. What is hidden underneath the surface is a lot of moodiness, a lot of ups and downs. I feel that you are 
you are very disconnected with yourself, with your higher self and yourself. There is a bit of confusion as to what's going on right now with you. And these, to me, are feelings and energies that are old. They've kind of like tagged along for a while with you. And now they're starting to bubble up and surface. And that's what you're feeling. So that means that you need to start cutting cords. As painful as it may be, it is necessary if you want to move on and to be more open and to start receiving positive, good energy, which will help you achieve your goals. Now, you're, you're keeping it all all inside what is these feelings you're not you're unable to communicate right now i feel clearly your emotions your state of mind because obviously you can't really pinpoint what's happening but um it is it is important for you to be able to communicate these feelings and to communicate even though it does make it makes no sense but just talking about it or communicating about it um might help you put your thoughts in a more structured way and start understanding what it is. Sometimes we don't need to understand what's what's happening to us. Sometimes it's just literally just energy or us ascending, our vibrations leveling up, basically. We are spiritual beings, so that happens. And it's like almost like retuning. And this full moon is going to be retuning and you're going to come out. I feel a little bit battered and bruised by it, but you're going to come out much better. Um, also, uh, you need to let go of this, this need to blame yourself mostly uh, and others. You you are on a blame blame game trip right now, where and that comes because there's just too much anxiety and and all these emotions that I described before that you just you just feel that if you don't understand what's happening to you, then it's not you, it's everyone else. But no, it's it's everything. Your energy affects other people's energy, and then it bounces back to you, and then you feel depleted you feel depleted that's the word I was looking for and this is what you need to let go of that conflict of that fear of that trying to understand every little emotion every little thought cancer you don't have to some things happen for a reason we don't need to understand them at the, that, that point we just have to let go and will come back to us much more clear so just remember that, try to ground yourself, try to do things that make you happy, be around people who make you happy and let go of those feelings and those thoughts, at least for now, at least for this period with a full moon. And then we have, um, I feel that the help you've given people until now, in the last few months, I, I was given the number three. So the help that you've given and the time you've invested in, in people, especially to help them out, whether it's giving advice, whether it's money, whether it's just practically helping them move or pack or whatever it may be, I feel that it's, you're going to get rewarded from it. It's going to start during the full moon phase, but it's also going to move on afterwards. And um, I just, I just love that because the people you've helped or the the people you've supported, they're going to pay you back big time. They're gonna, uh, they appreciate it. They're going to reward you big time. So just be patient. And now, when it comes to how to how to make the most of those opportunities that this full moon is bringing. Letting go, letting go, just letting go of that weight, Let, letting go of that baggage, let go of that baggage, especially before the full moon, because otherwise you're going to feel like you were piled on with more baggage and you were made to stand in quicksand. 
No bueno. So time for you to start letting go. Attachments are not good. And I don't mean about, I don't mean material attachments necessarily. I also mean attachments with people, with people that you, we love, right? So these are important points to help you through this full moon phase. And I know for a fact, as sensitive as you are, you water signs that you'll do fine, but you need to remember that some things are beyond your control too. And don't be too harsh on yourself. I hope that resonated. Right, dear Leo, time to look at your energies around this full moon. And I'll just dive right in. I get the two of swords as what's hidden. Right, so to me, what's hidden is the fact that whenever you don't feel 100% satisfied or happy in a situation, you're always trying to find the way out. For you, it's almost like you're always looking for a way out or for a plan B or for another opportunity. You, there's always something going on and you need to change that, especially now, because whatever it is that you've been working on, your backup plan is not going to work out. Because this full moon is going to say, no, no, no. What have you done? Have you released past, past um, lessons? Have, what have you learned from the past? What are you learning now? So, and I do feel that it is, it could be to like, you're in a, um, in a job and you've applied for another one or you're talking to headhunters. It could be within a relationship too. Things are a bit meh lately and you're just, you know, checking out what's out there, what's available, whether you are, you know, you're receiving wanted attention. I, I just feel could be whether you should move or not, could be all sorts of things, even, even whether you should sell or not sell your house. But whatever the decision it is, First of all, you need to fix what's happening now, right? And and then you can move on. This full moon is definitely not, if you have plans or anything, I can tell you now, it's just, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not going to help you out in that sense. How to deal with it? Well, I'm going to say with that page of swords, take things, especially whatever happens during this period, take it with a pinch of salt. First of all, don't take it too seriously. Don't take it too much to heart. Don't have too many expectations. Just tread lightly and take more time to understand the, uh, the situation you're in or the opportunities that arise without making any decisions and without uh, hastily, you know, um, taking action. You don't need to. Right now, you need to calm down, take things easy, and know, learn more about the situation you're in or learn more about the opportunity that's coming your way, which is probably going to be more confusing than anything for you. I have the page of pentacles here um, in the position of what what's the advice? What should you let go right now? To me, it's with this page of pentacles, it just indicates that it could be if you're a parent and you have adult children that you're supporting them. You might be supporting them. They might be coming to you and saying, you know, oh, I need more money. My computer broke. Uh, I can't afford it. My car needs to go for service, whatever it could be. But this also shows me that you need to start um, cutting those those cords with your kids, meaning you have to allow them to be more financially independent and or learn how to be more financially independent and not rely on you and come to you every time there is a hiccup, every time something goes wrong. And this is something that you will be, this is going to be quite a lesson for you during this full moon. I feel that might be, the focus might be on a child as well, a uh, child that comes to you for help, support, and you might probably find out some stuff about your child's life that you didn't know, 
And this is just going to change completely your perspective, um, your perception, sorry, your perception on this situation and on certain aspects in your life too. Right, so Leo's new opportunities to meet as well as with Cancers. I, it was, sorry, was it Cancers or Geminis? But I think it was Cancers, but I do see a new love, love interest. And when I mean new, I don't mean necessarily a new person. It could also be someone you know or you've known that is sort of leading into more of a, you know, um, emotional relationship there, which is, which is quite interesting. With the Knight of Cups, I do see, yeah, just something that's going to be back and forth, texting, calling, uh, Zooming, whatever it may be with someone. But I don't feel, because I just asked my guides if this is going to, if this full moon is going to sort of like thrust this new relationship into a more long-term thing. And my guide said, not necessarily, but it is the right thing for now for you. And then I have the emperor card. So on how to make the best of this full moon and the opportunity that's going to bring strategy. Be strategic. That's all I have to say. Don't be impulsive. Don't allow for those emotions and that ego to come to the forefront. Be more strategic. Be more quiet. Um, make sure that when you talk to people or you open up to people, it's the right people because everyone um, will give you advice but it's going to be subjective advice. And it's only a handful of people that actually are able to give objective advice. And you need to find those objective advisors, basically, because I feel that you're going to be way too much into your head, in your head right, right during this period. And you just need someone who's going to ground you and sort of lead you towards the right path, something that you need to hear right now. So that's what I see for the, new, the full moon in Scorpio. Right, Virgo, it's your turn. And I've already shuffled. I've already cut the deck and I've laid out the spread. And I have some interesting stuff here I can see. Right, so what is hidden, which this full moon is going to shed a light on? Yeah, did you like that? Yeah. Yeah. Two of Cups, your relationship. Your relationship is. So for some of you, it could be that um, there have been changes within your relationship or with your partner. And I feel that with others, you've started a new relationship that you haven't really shared with your family or your friends. You've kept it. Mm, you've, de you've kept it a little bit hush-hush. I'm not sure why. I'm going to ask my guides. But, um, okay, I know. I know why. I feel that for some of you, and if this resonates for you specifically, then that means this is a specific message for you, whoever you're watching, and this is making complete sense to you. Um, you might be in a somewhat unconventional relationship or a new relationship, and this is causing some kind of fear that you're going to be judged or you're going to be seen in a different light. So there's definitely that hidden relationship that hidden could be even, it could even be a partnership. Okay. It could be a business, business partner. It could be any type of partnership or union. So I do see that there is, that's going to be the forefront during this full moon. And then, um, how to deal with what's hidden and what's about to surface, bubble up. The Eight of Wands to me, creative outlets, creative ways. Be be uh, vigilant as well when it comes to the energies that are going to be surrounding you around this full moon. Virgo, It's I feel that this is going to be quite a... I'm going to say this, not tense, but I feel it's going to be... A, an energy that is going to make you quite, 
I do feel with the Eight of Wands that there is going to be a lot of energy around you, a lot of tense energy, a lot of things going on, and even things that are going to come your way. I just, I'm seeing bills flying in, um, repairing your car, uh, dealing with some kind of issue at work. I just feel that because all of these things are going to surface now and they're going to sort of pile on you, that you need to have a more creative outlook in things and find creative ways of finding solutions. Otherwise, you're going to start feeling like you're drowning and this is not going to help whatsoever. Also, uh, I have the king of wands here. You have to let go of inhibitions. You have to let go of... Um, I'm going to say even anger or disappointment that comes in from the past from someone that you knew that I feel that you fell out or you stopped talking to each other or you stopped talking to them. And I feel that this is something I was just shown that you, there, there might be some kind of communication with this person or you might find out something about this person that they said about you and that's going to be sort of like the decisive moment or the decisive uh, cut where you say, that's it, I have to let go of this person. It's a fire sign. It's a fire sign, definitely. Um, now, the, the good news is that this full moon is bringing some new opportunities, things that you almost manifested or you've been thinking of or planning for for a while with that ace of swords. So I do see some even new talks going into meetings with, with, with someone um, in order to work on a new partnership, a new deal, um, a new company. I just feel that this full moon is just bringing new opportunities for you, things that you've been working on for a while, like you've been thinking, you've been planning, you've been, you know, you've been, you've been doing so many like business plans and marketing plans, whatever it is. So it's, this is, this is great because I just feel that despite the tense energy, it's going to work out quite well for you afterwards. And then how to make most of this full moon and the opportunities that it brings is remain grounded. Remain grounded with the Empress card. To me, it also is, you know, it's the pregnancy card too. It could be that you find out around this time that you're expecting a little baby, which I think is beautiful. If you've been trying for a long time, now is a fertile period for you. So, you know, get at it, have fun, go for it. Um, it also indicates to me that those opportunities that are coming your way that I just discussed, you need to see them in a, in a more grounding light and keep yourself grounded. Don't let things go to your head because it's not going to work out for you. I can tell you. Right. That's it. Right, Libras, let's look at you right now. I've shuffled, I've laid out the spread, and I'm ready to go. So let's have a look here. What's hidden and what's going to most likely come out with this full moon? Um, it could be issues with someone you're romantically involved with. I feel that you might be in fear. Actually, you might be worried that this person is hiding something for you or they're not 100% honest or you feel that they're way too private for your liking, that they're not really sharing private details or private things. This is a fairly new relationship or fairly new acquaintance uh, or friendship even. It doesn't have to be, you know, an emotional thing. Like, a, I mean, um, um, a love connection. So, yeah, I just feel that there's someone there you don't really trust and you feel they're hiding things from you. And this is really going to be, amplified during this time of the full moon. At the same time, um, we have the 10 of wands here, as in uh, how to deal with a situation. Uh, I just feel that instead of trying to dig deeper to 
understand and maybe sort of like quiet down that head of yours, which is like, what is going on? What it, what is this person hiding? What should I know? You know, um, something doesn't feel right. You need you need to let go of that energy. You need to let go of that. Um, I'm not going to say obsessiveness. I'm just giving you the words that I'm receiving uh, towards this person or this situation, because frankly, it's not helping either of you. And you have a lot more things to deal with or other things to deal with that are far more important. This is not going to be that. The, yeah, I feel this is going to be the focus of this full moon, but not for the reasons that you think think it's mostly going to be because by uh, focusing on this person and really uh, believing that they're hiding something from you or they're dishonest it's actually going to bring a very negative effect towards you it's going to be a domino effect which is going to be negative negative at the end of the day for you now also um you have to let go of uh, i feel judgment too and um just the 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 feeling i'm getting is that um there is an imbalance there and and the imbalance comes from being overly critical of yourself and this is something that you have to work on because uh when you're over critical with yourself usually what happens is that we this this energy this feeling that we keep inside and we're constantly at battle with ourselves comes out sooner or later and it might come out as a big bang towards someone you love and sometimes words hurt more than physical actions so you, you know be wary of that try to find a balance be fair be fair to yourself and be fair to the others. You know, don't don't be overcritical of yourself and of others. So basically, this full moon, you really need to take a chill pill and just just block any kind of energy that is coming in your field, in your auric field, in your energetic field that you feel is sort of basically putting you on edge. So you need to bring that down, especially for that week, four days before the, the full moon and four days after. Also, I have here the three of wands, new opportunities, plans for the future. You're working on something right now. There are some plans, uh, even traveling. I feel I just saw traveling or taking a trip um, with friends or with family. New opportunities are going to come out after the after this trip or during this trip it could even be a business trip and um yeah i see three people though going on that trip together it could be a business trip and that business trip is actually going to bring you some opportunities but they're not going to be it's not going to be evident from the beginning that this is an opportunity in the beginning it might seem like yeah okay you know, this is not for me, or I'm, I'm not sure if this is going to work out. But in time, it's going to show you that this is actually a good thing for you. This is a good opportunity for you. And then I have the hermit here on um, how to make the most of these opportunities. Hermit, as I said, the, mo the you can make the most of these opportunities by doing nothing right now. Absolutely nothing. Don't open your mouth. Don't do anything. Don't be hasty. Just allow for this week from the 28th. So that the full moon is on the 28th. You need four days after. So that would be around the 2nd or the 3rd of May. Then you can start thinking about taking actions or, you know, uh, what your plan is going to be, what your course of action is going to be. But until then, do nothing. Just absolutely nothing. Just Allow things to happen. Don't react. Try not to be reactive during this period. Right, that's it. Scorpios, your turn. And this full moon is on your sign. So this is going to be interesting. Let's see what's going on. I've already um, shuffled the deck, cut the deck, and it's the laid out here on a spread right in front of me. So I'm having a look now. Oh, dear. Right. 
Try to keep your temper. Try to keep your temper. I feel that you're tense already, and it's going to get worse as we come closer to the full moon, to the time of the full moon, right? So there's just so much going on in your head right now. I almost feel that you're like on overload of information, or you're on overload. Are you talking to? Is there someone that confides in you? or you confide to them, and there's just a lot of information that is being um, exchanged right now. Um, I feel that that information is something that you don't want anymore to keep within you or you want to to deal with. I feel like you're almost done with that. And I feel that around the full moon, you might even sort of like distance yourself from the situation or the person and all that energy and all that. Just There's just too much going on. And then I have the Queen of Cups. So you have to start, you know, you start, you have to start opening up this Scorpio, opening up about your feelings, your emotions, your thoughts. It's just like you've just been closed down, closed in for such a long time. And this is the queen of cups and queen of cups has to do with emotions and running energies, but it also has to do with things that not being 100% honest with how you're feeling and your emotions. I'm not saying you're a liar or that you lie, but just not revealing what is truly happening. So if someone asks you, you're not going to reveal the truth, but you're not going to hide it either. So this this is something that um, I feel, especially now, something that you have to deal with on how you're going to communicate from now on, especially with certain people in your life that you've, I I just got the word mistrust. Maybe there is, you're not trusting certain people around you. So it's like intuitively you've been feeling some way, but you haven't had the proof or the facts around it. And it's just, you know, building up and building up. I feel that this full moon is going to bring a major spring cleaning when it comes to your social groups, when it comes to even your family members, family members that you get along with or you don't get along with. It's almost like cutting out toxic relationships, cutting out toxic people and people that really not serving you. And this is going to happen now. And it's going to happen suddenly. You're going to ghost them because that, that, that's what... Scorpios normally do. They're ghosts and, and they don't do it because they're mean. You don't do it because you're mean, but you do it because that's the way you deal with that. You just cut straight away that tie and you move on. You know, okay, you don't really move on. Well, it appears like you're moving on. Inside you, it's a whole different story, but you know, you cut it straight away and you're out. You're done. Um, so, new opportunities. Yes, you're going to be. Uh, let's say, clearing out people from your um, life, but you're also most likely going to bring in some new people in your life and you're going to meet new people, different people, people I feel that you would not normally be, let's say, attracted to, I don't mean uh, just you know, um, emotionally, but I mean, attracted to socially as well. Um, I feel that these people are going to be very different to you, more introverted. I feel that you're more attracted now, or you're going to start being more attracted to more introverted people. Uh, people who are more about communicating to the point, but not a lot. I feel you're tired. I feel you're, you're tired with keeping up this social this social pretenses that we all have to and especially during a pandemic where the zoom situation and how how many hours we spend in front of a screen talking to people is just is overbearing and i feel that you're going to be right now it's almost like an explosion saying i need to make changes and then i have the um the two of swords. So in order for you to make the most of this full moon is again, to first of all, stop second guessing yourself or stop. I feel like lately you're a bit wishy-washy when it comes to making decisions or, you know, um, laying out an action plan. You need to let go of that wishy-washy energy and 
really sort of stand your ground and the way that you're going to do with your um, social circle, the same way you have to do it with you. What works, we keep. What doesn't work, we let go and we, you know, come up with new ideas, a new action plan. And that's what this full moon is bringing for you, dear Scorpio. Right, Sagittarius, it's your turn. Let's have a look at what this full moon is about to bring to you. Right, so when it comes to uh, what's hidden, Ten of Pentacles, do I feel that if you are, um, I feel that right now there are going to be big changes that are coming your way, especially with this full moon regarding to work or your career. I feel there are going to be big changes, change of jobs, change of careers, maybe even quitting altogether and doing something very, very different, something outside the box. I feel that you've been working on something, I would say, behind the scenes. Uh, it could be making your hobby into a business or starting a business, a small business, but it's all going to start coming together now, right at this, at this time. Um, you've been way too patient, I feel, uh, with a hanged man here. Um, but at the same time, this full moon is not about, you know, taking action or making any decisions, not during that week, four days before and four days after. So you really need to hang in there with that hanged man. You really need to be patient and allow for those energies to work around you and make that, um, that space around you ripe in order for you to be able to take action and and start seeing you know the 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 rewards of it start ripping in the rewards basically and then queen of swords you need to let go of uh, honestly you need to let go of I feel a mentality that you might be caring for a while, which is that I'm invincible. I'm a warrior. I can do this. I can do anything. Um, I can uh, work myself to ex exhaustion, but still manage to do that. No, you can't. You can't. This is, you have to let go of that energy of, you know, if I slow down, I will fail. If you slow down, you're not going to fail. If you slow down, you're actually going to replenish that energy. You're going to be able to, you know, listen to your inner voice because you're way too busy to listen to that right now and redirect yourself towards the direction, towards the path that you should be on. Because I feel that you might be, you might lost your path because you're so, you know, let's go, let's do this. Let's, you know, let's not stop because I'm on a roll. There's a momentum there. Is there? Have you looked around you? What is going on right now? How's it working for you? Full moon is going to ring that bell for you. That's for sure. Page of Wands, I do see creative opportunities coming your way. Um, if you're a singer or if you, you like to write songs, um, yeah, someone might be knocking on your door. Someone might be knocking on your door. That's what I'm getting and feeling. So definitely if you're into the creative arts or entertainment after this full moon, this full moon is going to build that energy up. And that after that full moon, I do feel that new opportunities and um, new deals are coming your way. And I'm super excited about that. And oh, Ace of Cups. So as I said before, letting go of judgments, from the past, whether they were you judging yourself or other people criticizing you or judging you, you need to let that go and start from scratch. You need to build on that confidence levels that have kind of like dropped lately, but you can bring them back up again. And those confidence levels have dropped because you're tired, you're exhausted. You're just so focused. You're like a hamster in a hamster wheel let it go, slow down, and start making sense of what you're actually doing. Stop and face the music. There you go. I, I made a pun here because of the musicians and the singers and the songwriters. And it's all about 
making the most of the opportunities that come your way, but in a meaningful way, not in opportunist way, if that makes sense. So this is going to be a big lesson that's coming up right around this full moon in a few days, depending on when you're watching this video. Right, Capricorns, let's look at you right now. So what I have here is I have the hanged man. So you've been waiting for something to happen or you've been waiting for a long time. It seems to me that you've been working, working, working and at work, not just on yourself or, at, you know, at your home or anything like that. I just feel that work has been the theme of the last year, year and a half with that hangman. And then you're like, what is going, what is happening? When are things going to move? When are things are going to finally move towards the direction that I want them to? That is what is really going to be that the light that's going to be shed on during this, this full moon. Um, sort of reevaluating what you've been doing for the last year, year and a half. And it's going to be a tough one because you will be asked to make a decision. Make a decision. What do you want? What direction do you want to go? Is it worth continuing this work and this all this energy that you've put into that since it hasn't paid off up until now? So these are all things that are going to go through your head. They're going to ask you to finally make a decision. Don't make that decision during the full moon. Allow for that to happen afterwards because that energy is going to be way too intense for you to make the right decision for you. <clears throat> you have to let go of, um, I'm going to say, romantic and maybe even immature not thoughts, but ideas that you have. I feel that you have all these ideas going on in your head and some of them are, yeah, I was just told now. So for anyone who is working on something, it's a message for someone specific, a Capricorn, someone who is working with children or working on creating something for children and it's been, go. you've been working on this for a very long time, what I'm being told now is that during this time of the full moon in Scorpio, you will kind of be pushed to let go of that idea. There might be issues with patterns. It could be a legal um, hiccup there. It, I feel that it's like a, a domino effect of things that at the end of the day, you will be pushed to decide to let go because of because of all the energy and all the time and the money that you've put into it. So again, if it has to do with if you're working with children or you're working on something new or if you are a creator, someone who's creative or a creator, you will have to reevaluate how you work, how you do business, how you do what you do and find and become more resourceful and find other ways of doing so. I, I feel that um, new opportunities will come your way and there might be opportunities for traveling. It could be for a travel agency, I was just told and I heard. So it could be in the tourism industry, which will start opening up soon as well. So there might be new opportunities there in that industry, in that field or opportunities that arise during traveling while you're taking trips. So that's super exciting. And then we have the 10 of pentacles, the what, how you can make the most out of this full moon. My opinion is stay with family, talk to family, be with family and um, help each other out. Focus on that. And you will get the answers that you're looking for because I was just shown that some of you are looking for some of you've got questions and you're asking and you're asking your guides and you're praying and you're just asking the universe and you feel that you're not getting the answers. You will get the answers. You are getting the answers. They're, they're coming through. They will start coming through starting now, basically starting 
now um, end of April. So that's very exciting for you Capricorns. Right, fellow Aquarians, let's have a look. Oh, I'm so excited because as you know, I'm an Aquarius too. So this full moon is going to really make Aquarians look inwards as well. Like really be honest with that seven of wands and, and take a deeper look in to your wants, your beliefs, your, your ambitions. I feel that you've been, um, lately you've been lost. I feel with the energy that has been surrounding you and has been surrounding a lot of us. And you kind of like went without energy. You are an air sign so that you, you tend to do that. We tend to do that. And I feel that you kind of lost that. And this is going to really shake you up during the full moon because you, it's almost like getting a big slap of energy across the face. And well, well the, the, the king of cups just shows that nothing can be hidden anymore. Nothing. Yes, things are going to come out. They are going to come out big time, I feel, during this full moon. Someone, someone, something will be revealed about someone, a male energy in your life. Could be a water sign. Could be an air sign. Because I also read the cups sometimes as air signs too. It's um, It almost feels to me that um, you've been talking to this person and maybe over-promised and under-delivered, and this is going to really backfire for you during this full moon. I get the star. I get the star. So what do you have to let go now? And I, I really love this. If we all work right, like if we all make the most of it, okay, during this full moon, with the star card, it's almost like setting your intentions during the full moon and then letting go of pain. There, I do feel there will be painful moments. So moments that you, not necessarily because someone does something to you or you find out some bad news, but there are going to be some emotional, uh, an emotional roller coaster, some emotional moments that are going to make you go deep and, and cry and let those tears out and let that pain out. But if you work, uh, spiritually around this time and on yourself with a star card, it means that you can actually open a whole new, let's say, perspective for your spiritual perspective for you after this full moon, if that makes sense. I hope it makes sense because I'm just having like a huge vision in my head right now. I'm being shown so much, but there's so spacey and spiritual that it's so hard for me to put down into words so I will continue to try to do so and then I have the new opportunities new opportunities I have the three of cups what kind of new opportunities that the full moon is going to bring and with the three of cups here community love support friends banding in together to help you give offer you the support that you need practical practical support too if you're moving if um, you just broke up and you need to move your stuff or you don't want to see your boyfriend there will be the ones who'll go back to your old apartment get your stuff and bring it to you that's what I mean that that your friends will practically be there for you if you're looking for a job someone might one of your friends might talk to you know a someone they know who owns a business and might give you a uh, job opportunity there so there will be opportunities coming through your um, network, through your friends, through your close friends too. And then the um, how to make the most of these of, of this full moon is by honestly take things as lightly as possible if you can. Don't take every little thing that happens because I feel there's going to be a lot of tension and a lot of things that are happening. And for the collective as well, I feel that there is going to be some kind of, of, uh, of a world event that will kind of erupt or happen around the full moon. So whatever, maybe don't allow for it to influence you. Take things more lightly as much as you can to protect yourself and protect yourself from that energy because this too shall pass. Let me just remind everyone, 
this too shall pass. It's just being a little bit more cautious, a little bit more patient. And that applies for Aquarians too. Be, see things from, uh, with a lighter, uh, view with a more positive, change your mindset to a more positive one. Even if you wake up in the morning and you feel that you can't go on, that you're too tired, that it's Groundhog Day, whatever you're feeling, just try to put that at the back of your head and continue on, continue on, okay? Because it's not going to be like this forever. It's only for a few days, seven or eight days mostly, and then things are going to, again, pick up for you and you're going to start, you know, receiving reward, rewards again. Right, last but not least, we've got Pisces. I've shuffled, I've cut the deck, and let's get right to it. So I feel so many things are going on with you, dear Pisces. I feel that you're about to make huge changes or big changes in your life, and it's going to feel even more, it's going to escalate around the full moon. It's going to be, there's just, I feel... Um, yeah, it's almost like, I feel this, I don't know who, for who this message is. Someone has been working on a pattern or a scientist has been working on some kind of medicine or treatment. And I feel that this is coming out soon. This is, we're going to be finding out about something that is going to be groundbreaking. This is very interesting. Sorry about this. But, you know, when messages come through, I'll just put them out there because they, this this involves all of us, the collective. So that's almost the theme for, the, for Pisces as well. The theme that something that you've been working on for a long time and you've been kept at hush hush, it's all going to come out now and it's going to be groundbreaking. It's actually going to shake the ground. It's going to really excite people around you too. And um, Ten of Swords here, it, oh, yeah, the Ten of Swords. How are you going to deal with it? I feel that you're going to deal with it with a lot of stress. There's a lot of stress coming your way, dear Pisces. I just feel that there's just, there's just oh, I feel like a pressure on my chest, um, that energy that you have. You're quite emotional too and sensitive right now. You just, anything anyone tells you, you take it too hard. So, uh, try to let go of these feelings. Just don't take life right now, and especially certain aspects of life, so seriously. Please don't. And um, oh, it could be that um, during this full moon that there might be a decision of moving. There might be a decision of closing a business. Could be just making a huge change in your life, even just shutting a door on someone that the relationship has been faltering and hasn't been really working for you. So um, you'll be closing doors and letting go of a lot of things. I feel right now it's already started since last month I was shown for you, but it's going to definitely uh, intensify closer to the full moon. New opportunities. Yeah, there might be a, a, a new love coming in your way. Um, this full moon just, yeah, oh, yeah. I just got the message that you have a secret admirer, uh, admirer, you have a friend, someone you know, or an acquaintance or a colleague, but someone you know that you've hanged out with that have started building, getting feelings for you and building this emotional connection with you. And I feel that this, you might start picking up on that around this time as well. Either they might be honest and come out and tell you, or that you will start picking up on those hints or feeling that energy coming your way as well. Hmm, not bad. And seven of wands here, this kind of applies the same as Aquarians, as I said before, you need to take things a little bit slower, chiller, take a chill pill, calmer. You just need to deal with every little thing that comes your way in a very 
very dry manner and a very practical manner. And instead of taking it all on you, because Pisces, you just don't deal with unexpected stuff that well. And this full moon is going to bring unexpected news and unexpected events. So I'm warning you just in case. So you need to be able to be prepared to deal with it because this too shall pass. This too will, will go away, but it happens to all of us for a reason. We have to learn. If we don't learn, by learning, we're able to cut cords and ties, emotional, spiritual, practical. And once we do that, then we're able to heal. We won't be able to heal if we don't go through that process. And that really applies for you, Pisces, especially now and especially around this full moon. Right. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you will go down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And will give me a thumbs up and a like because that helps my channel. And at the end of the day, you know, that's like buying me a coffee but without buy buying me a coffee and without sending me money, if that makes any sense. And I love coffee. So I would really appreciate that. I'm going to be re recording May star signs this week. So hopefully I will upload them by next week, but I'll keep you updated. I don't have a community tab just yet, but so all my announcements will happen via my Instagram account, which is at Femtaro. Thank you everyone. Bye.